All right, short mini snapper. Uh, Requiem and Fitzgerald pop too. So here we are. We can go uh, make an A bar chord at the fifth fret, but uh, maybe even uh, you know think of it as an F chord, and you just sketch that up there. The tune is on the top. And the melody is the same as in uh, when you play it low, full tone above. And uh, you know what's cool to do here, I notice, is to... Oh, I'm a little out of tune, man. But it doesn't matter. And then you get the tune here with a double uh, stop. Gotta brighten up my sound, man. one of these in there and just slam that uh, good old E minor or E minor 7 and uh, walk up to a G To do it, uh, if you want to do that, G. Well, that's that hits the spot. It's a little harder to get to, though. Probably doing down, up, down. Take a moment to do that. You'll thank yourself later. Think later. Um, and then you go to a D. out the middle finger and then back to that, that Gordon Lipper chord, the Gord chord, A sus 2. And the tune is on the first and third string. Let's get a string skip. And that's a perfect fifth or fourth or whatever, however you want to look at it. Actually this sounds a little too major so you know, one thing that is nice with this position of chord is just get rid of it. Now that makes me want to put the pinky on there. So uh, what that is, is just an A and you're just making an A7 of it. But really, you don't, if that note is blocked, don't let it stop you because that's still, you know, or you know, if that's what you get, that's cool too, man. Like, it's like, don't let it break your flow. You could even do the whole chord. Okay, so let's join the first two pieces together and you can play along. Ready, go. I'll do the whole cool chord. It's like a YouTube chord. Now let's get this walk up. It's a weird fingering I ended up with there. I'm doing it the Kurt Cobain style. Love that. I don't know, I think his style is to do it like that or something. It's pretty cool. And then the end, the other ending has the... Or, is crazy I don't care man um, so that's this week's thing I'm gonna just space out on it and once again the point is to find the tune but don't be like ah, anxious about finding it just kind of flow through it and if because the thing is we're finding the tune within the chord and that does allow you the luxury of just throwing a speck of tune in and then a jingle of chord here and a strum there that's that's your luxury that you gain so feel free or like please avail yourself of as much of that level of the expression i mean it does not have to be a hundred percent note for note melody like it is like cool sometimes I'm going 
way too fast. I'm gonna slow down. Here we go. One, two, There's something cool coming up. I think the Bob Ross of the... And then, uh, you get this. Rick Beato has a lot of appreciation of Gordon Lightfoot. Which is a Canadian. Appreciate. Now, here you can do this. It's like a tag of the G to D. So you can just learn that. You can play around with that, actually, and make some cool 90s songs. <laughs> that has that 90s vibe. Gin Blossoms times. Um, digression. Oh, we're playing Edmund Fitzgerald. And you repeat the melody there. And then I always hear like a pedal still going like. I'm going on the fourth fret. Oh, I got a crunched rib this week, man. I'm not gonna do too many bends. I'll just slide it. That doesn't sound as cool. You gotta bleed for it, baby. Sucked. Now I'm getting into the Rio Statics version. Anyway, that's another thing. Listen to the Rio Statics version, compare it with the Gord version, and uh, you'll see what I was. Those guys are, you know, they got. When that came out, it was pretty mind blowing. So uh, I remember actually kind of being almost like, whoa, guys. And I was, I already had heard uh, Aliens. And maybe like one other of their catchy tunes at the time, like Record Body Count and Aliens, I think, were being played on CBC with some frequency. And the band was starting to take hold of the nation. <laughs> anyway, uh, but their version of that, I think, was played on Dave, not David Wisdom's, but maybe Lori Brown's show. And uh, and I was like, I, I found Tim's vocal challenging, actually. I liked the soundscaping and I found that I was really enjoying that. And some of the over-the-top whammying of uh, Martin, you know, that was challenging too, you know, but uh, it's the right kind of challenging. So go check that out and uh, play along to that. That might be Capo 2. Oh, yeah, this should be Capo 2, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're really in the key of B. But... Uh, Man, who has time for capos? Who has time for anything but rock and roll? So, uh, play your skaters and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy. Uh... Oh man, my hair's weird. Okay, bye. <laughs>